All right, looks like I'm recording this again. It paused for no reason. So um, we are looking at the homework for 511, Math 2 Plus. We're looking at midpoint. Basically, midpoint is the main idea for this lesson. You may have seen midpoint before. No worries. Uh, this is a quick review. Then we'll look at some problems. So if I had these two points, 1, 3, and 5, 3, it's on the same level, right? It's on level 3. The y value is 3, so it's up here at 3, and it's uh, on that level of 3. Now, if I said, hey, what's the midpoint? You'd say, well, it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle. And essentially, I know that this midpoint, the midpoint is going to have 3 as my, my y value because the midpoint is on the level 3. It's going to be right in the middle. Now, between 1 and 5, essentially, all we have to do is find the average of those. 1 plus 5 divided by 2 is 3. And we know that the midpoint is 3, 3. It's right in the middle. Okay. Same idea is going to apply when we have two different points that are not on the same level. Here we have negative 10, negative 11. And down here we have 8, negative 17. So if I connect these, whoops, eh, that's about right. The midpoint's going to be about there, right? Midpoint. We got our endpoints and the midpoint. Now, now what we're going to do is use the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is actually just an ordered pair that where we're applying the average between the x values, the average, so we're dividing, adding and dividing them, and the y values. Okay, so this is the midpoint formula. It's really not so much a formula, it's making a new order pair um, that uh, just finds the average. So let's go ahead and plug those in. We'll label our ones and two group. We'll call this x1, y1. We'll call this x2, y2. So we're gonna end up with, let's see, uh, x2 is eight. We're going to add to that negative 10. Ugh. Next week, this will be better. Trust me. All right. Y sub 2 is negative 17. We're going to add to that, combine with it, negative 11. Okay. Then divide by 2. So we look here. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 17 minus 11 is negative 28. Divided by 2 is negative 14. And that is our midpoint right here. We could see that, yeah, if it's at negative 10 and 8, yeah, approximately in the middle is going to be uh, negative 2. One sec. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Negative 2. Right. It's a little hard to see. Right in between those. Right, 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 right. Okay. So right in between the x value of negative 10 and 8, right in the middle is negative 1. Right in between negative 11 and negative 17 is negative 14. So this point right here is negative 1, negative 14. And this is problem number 1, right? And this basically is the same as, let's see, actually, that's not standalone. It's not different. Right, let me pause it. I'll get going on the next problem. All right, we're looking at number 2 now. When we get to number 2, it's uh, still related to... Um, it's related to the midpoint, but the only difference is instead of going halfway, we're going a different ratio. So it's no big deal. Watch what's going to happen here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second. All right, there's a couple ways to do this problem. I'm going to just write down the basics here. We know that we have endpoints of 34, 2, and another endpoint over here, negative, actually it's over here, but it doesn't matter, negative 6, negative 16. Okay, so here's the thing. We don't want to go, the midpoint would be going halfway. Midpoint would be going halfway between them, right? Instead of going halfway, we want to go three-fourths of the way, okay, um, from this endpoint. So we want to go, um, all right, looks like I have to write this in the right, right place. So we have negative um, 6, negative 16, okay? So we have this point right here. Eh, it's not really very good to scale, but we got this point right here. Now, you have to pay real attention because number two is saying we want to find the point that's three-fourths the distance from the endpoint negative 6, negative 16. So watch. We need to go three-fourths of the way from this point because it says it needs to go from this point three-fourths of the way. Okay? So now watch. If I look at this... Um, the main thing here is I want to think of this as 
really kind of like a triangle here. Now watch. This is how far up I need to go. This is how far over I need to go to get to my other point. So how far is that? Let's look. So here we're at negative 6. Negative 6. For me to go over to 2, I have to go over 8 units. Okay? So that's negative 6 to... Excuse me. Let me start over. Rewind. From negative 6 for x to 34 for x is a distance here of 40. To go from negative 16 up to 2 is 18. Now, if we look at that, we need to find 3 fourths of the way. Because think about that. If instead of going 100% of the way, right, we only go 3 fourths of the way up, and we only go 3 fourths of the way over, we're going to end up with the point that is 3 fourths of the distance from this point. So it's a matter of looking almost like slope. So if I said, if I said, hey, we're going we're gonna to jump up these steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And maybe if you got a real running start, you could jump all the way up. Um, step one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Now, if I said, instead of jumping all the way up the stairs, I want you to jump uh, half of the way up the stairs, what would you do? You would jump up half of the way, right? So you would go up one, two, three, halfway up to all the way to six. You would go over one, two, three, half the way over all the way to six. So it's kind of like that. You look at the point here, negative 6, negative 16, to 34, 2. We don't have to go all the way up 18. We need to go 3 fourths of the way up to 18 and 3 fourths of the way over from 40. Now, this distance is going to be measured from this point. So we're going to go up that distance and then over that distance. That's going to give us our new point. Okay, so think about it. If I have this 18 right here, 18 times, so 3 fourths of 18 is 18 times 3 fourths. So what do we get here? We get, um, let's see, divide that 2, 9 halves, 27 halves, 13.5. Okay. Um, when we look here at 40, 40 times 3 fourths is 30. Okay. So we need to go up. We need to go up 13.5. Then we need to go over 30 from that point, okay? So if I look at that, if I look at that, let me try to zoom in a bit. Right, if I look up to go three quarters of the way and it's 18 length here, I go 13.5, then we go over 30 because it's three fourths of our 40 uh, measurement here. Okay, so let's see, if I go up, if I'm at negative, I'm at negative 16, or excuse me, negative 16 for what? And I go up 13.5, how far do I get? Where do I get? I'm gonna go up 13.5 from negative 16, and I'm gonna get negative 2.5, okay. Now, that is in the wrong place, I apologize. I need to do this in order. Let's backtrack that for a second. Let's look at our x values first. If I am at negative six, and I need to go over 30. That's 3 quarters of the way of my full distance of 40 between these points. So I need to go 30, 3 quarters of it. So I'm at negative 6. If I go over 30, I end up at 24. Now for the y, if I'm here at negative 16 and I go up 13.5, I get to negative 2.5. So let's see if that approximately works. Let's see, 24 right about here, negative 2.5. Yeah, that's going to be about there. And that is our three quarters of the way. Okay, so it's a matter of looking at between the two points. There is a, ru a run, excuse me, a run and a rise, rise over run, rise and run. Instead of going all the uh, the distance of the full rise, you're going to go three quarters of it. Instead of the whole run, you're going to go three quarters of it, and that's going to get you to your point uh, at that distance from your desired point. Okay. All right, looking at this, number three is the same as number two. It basically is just giving you, wants you to find a, third, a distance, one third the distance from an endpoint, um, and it gives you the endpoints. Okay, so you're gonna approach number three just like number two. Now, when we get to number four, um, uh, for problems four and five, find the coordinates of the second endpoint given the endpoint and the midpoint. So instead, look, before we had these two endpoints, we had an endpoint, let's see, 
in point. We had an end point, and over here we had another end point. And before we were trying to find this midpoint. Okay? Instead, this time they're giving us one endpoint, they gave us the midpoint, we've got to find the other endpoint. Okay? So the way we're going to approach this, remember this is an XY, this is an XY, right? This is an XY, and if we remember what the midpoint formula says, the midpoint formula is really just saying that your new midpoint is going to be your x2 plus x1 over 2 and your y2 plus y1 over 2. Essentially it's just the average of your x and y's. So what we're going to do with this, in order to find these, we're going to just approach the x by itself and then we're going to approach the y by itself. Okay? So let's bring down the x. Let's see what happens here. So watch. We know that the midpoint for this problem, the midpoint for number 4 Let's see, well actually we have, um, yeah, it looks like this. We can call this endpoint, this endpoint we're going to call um, negative 10, 3. Negative 10, 3, okay. We're told that the, the midpoint is 3.5 and 4, okay. So think about that. We know the endpoint, we know the midpoint, we got to find the other endpoint. But we know that... If I'm finding the midpoint, which is an x and a y, right, x and a y, all I need to do is find the average of the x's, divide by, or sum of the x's, divide by 2, sum of the y's, divide by 2. Let's find the average of the x and y, okay? So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, I'm going to take this endpoint value, I'm going to call this x1, y1, I'm going to call this x2, y2, and I'm going to call this the midpoint. All right. So watch. When we add these together and divide by 2, we get 3.5, right? When we add those together, negative, or actually we'll call it x sub 2, and then we're combining it with x sub 1, which is negative 10, and we divide by 2, we end up with what? 3.5. You see what I'm doing here? All I did was I'm looking at the midpoint formula, how I find the x values first. I find them by adding together the x values for the endpoints, dividing by 2. I know this endpoint, negative 10, combining with x sub 2, which I don't know. I'm going to find it, then divide those by 2. That would give me my x value for the midpoint, which is right here. Okay. So if I look at that, now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go in here and just do a little bit of work. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. We get y sub 2 minus 10 is equal to 7. I'm going to add 10, and we get x sub 2 is equal to 17. All right, look at that. We already found that this point right here is 17. And now we got to do the same process with the y's. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my y sub 2, which I don't know. I'm going to add to it my y sub 1, which I do know is 3. I'm going to divide that by 2. And what do I know that equals? I know that that equals, those are the average of my y's divided by 2, is going to give me my midpoint y value. Okay, so if I look at that, my midpoint y value is 4. So now I'm going to do the same step. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. All right? See ya, see ya. y sub 2 plus 3 is equal to 8. Minus 3, minus 3. y sub 2 is equal to 5. So we just figure out that that is 5. So the answer for this is 17, 5. All right, it looks like actually uh, this problem I just did was number four. Remember I said three is like two. This was number four. And number four is the same as number five. You're going to do the same approach. Okay, so when you get to number five, it's the same as number four. Just kind of approach it the same. We're looking for, in this case, the endpoint. Uh, it looks like you're going to try to find the other endpoint uh, for number five as well. Okay, that's it, guys. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye.